Did you know that the top e-commerce brands are now creating stunning product images and visuals in seconds without having to pay for a designer or photographer? The ChatGPT image generator is revolutionizing how online stores approach visual content. And most store owners are completely missing out on this. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use ChatGPT's image generator as an e-commerce brand and how useful it can be for your email marketing. Whether you're struggling with limited design resources or you just want to create email content content faster. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to start generating professional quality images within minutes. Let's dive into my computer. Let me show you around. So the first use case that I want to show you with ChatGPT's image generator is that I want to start a new e-commerce brand and I want to start a kid supplement brand called Brain bodies and i don't have any content that i can share so that's why i'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate images for me so at least i have a starting point of images and i can start building my e-commerce store so brain bodies what i first ask is hey create a realistic product mock-up of a kids supplement brand called brain bodies the packaging should be fun modern and colorful to attract young kids and their parents placed on a white background that was the only prompt that i gave to ChatGPT, and just to confirm i'm using ChatGPT 4o model they're having different models uh, but in this case i used the 4o model and this was the end result and to be honest this was already pretty good it placed it on a white background and i think the packaging looks fun indeed with a lot of colors which i think definitely will attract like kids when they see this in store still it looked kind of cheap to me to the, the the overall packaging so i do want to improve this so what i said is make the packaging transparent so people can see the gummies inside because i think that's important and makes it look a bit more modern and like less cheap then this was the end result and as you can see indeed ChatGPT made it transparent so this is already a lot better now the next thing that i noticed is that the gummies are all the same color and of course it would be fun if the gummies would have different colors because people will find it fun especially kids so my next prompt was the gummies should be in different colors and didn't specify which colors which of course you can also do i just said do it in different colors and now it came with this and indeed it made it in different colors so that's great the only downside right now is that because this packaging is transparent you can't see the uh, brand name that good anymore and yeah, it just doesn't look as good so to finalize the packaging i said the packaging is hard to read so place the label on a white background but the rest of the packaging should be transparent and this was the end result and i think this looks very very good so it's partially transparent so people can see what's inside they can see the different colors of gummies and um, overall i think this is already like a solid package for uh for this brand and you might wonder okay what is like the use case for this i think this is especially useful for when you're an e-commerce store that's launching a new product product and you want to get some inspiration for new packaging then this is extremely useful to ask ChatGPT to come up with different variations uh, in the past you would have to hire like expensive agencies or like a designer and now you can just ask ChatGPT to come up with a packaging and i think this is already like a solid one now i said perfect now you can use this product mock-up as a base for all future requests so it will use this packaging for all future emails as you will see for the line this doesn't go pitch perfect but i will show you in a sec because now i said I want you to create an image of a young girl age 12 holding the packaging in her hand showing it to the camera with a smile because yeah it's great that I now I have a mock-up of the package but I want to have some cool content that I can use in my email marketing on my website uh, for social media stuff like that and this was the image that I came up with and I think this is already like a super realistic image that you can definitely use it uses the exact uh, packaging I think the kit looks super realistic the way it's holding it in her hand uh, overall a very good image that you can give to your designer when a designer is making emails in Figma for example and uh, you can definitely use this image so it is definitely a workable image that you can use and now I said now make this image in a user generated content style so a bit less professional more like someone uh, made the image himself in a bright living room and there you go I think the user generated content style wasn't like completely done correctly I think it's still more of a professional image but the fact that the same girl with the same packaging is now sitting on the out holding the product in her hand uh just created from scratch with just a very basic prompt i think this result is already like ridiculous and again i'm using on purpose quite basic prompts in here just to show you with just one line and one sentence prompt the results that you can get so 
if you would specify this, uh, for example, the model, the age, the, the color of her hair, stuff like that. If you're really going to specify the setting, for example, you can craft the exact product images that you want and the possibilities are basically endless. But this wasn't it yet. Now I said, create the image of this girl taking a gummy out of the package with a smile. It must look like a huge generated content so from a real person. And now it's made this image. So basically the same image as before on the couch, but now taking a gummy in her mouth. So again, this could be like a whole photo shoot that you make now with the help of ChatGPT without needing to hire models, photographer and stuff like that. So again, a great image that we can use for this brand. If you scroll down, I have another request. So create an image, now share a group of four children in the age group 10 to 15, two boys, two girls who hold the brain bodies packaging in their hand, show it proudly and with a smile. And again, it just did just that and now i said show them on the beach with the picture taken from a bit further also make sure to make the packaging a bit smaller since the container looks quite big that's one of the things that i noticed i think it's a bit too big for like 60 gummies in, in one container uh so let's see what happened next and again now we have four models uh, on the beach holding the packaging which is a lot smaller right now uh doesn't look like the original packaging anymore so that's one of the downsides that i noticed that doesn't fully take on the exact packaging that we want and also like the models changed a little bit but it is on the uh, on the beach as you can see then i asked can you create a comparison table that shows the benefit of our brain bodies over competitors and I just gave the four advantages make it look visual appealing and fun colors and images of the product and then it came with this result and as you can see it's pretty good but it's not perfect first of all it showed this first row of course which shouldn't be there and it is cutting off the uh, image over here so that's one of the downsides that i noticed now with the image generator and of course this will improve over time if you see how fast uh, the developments are going with uh, with AI. now with this prompt this wasn't a pitch perfect result still i think if we would tweak the prompt we could get it in the right way uh, for example if we give up the dimensions of the image and stuff like that i think it would already be a lot better now i say create an image make a hero image for one of our emails the image should be in a two to three ratio it's typically like the ratio that we use for our header images in, in email marketing the product should only be visible in the bottom 60 percent of the hero image not above because the top 40 percent should should stay clear so i can add a headline and call to action button overlay later uh, the background should be colorful and modern to show the playful character of brain bodies and it could contain happy playing kids in the age group 10 to 15 but keep in mind that the top 40 percent you should keep space for the headline and call to action button overlay and then it came with this result which i think is an excellent result i think the top 40 percent should stay clear a little bit more because the idea is 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 that you download this image you load inside figma and then in figma you can add in the the, the headline and call to action button so it's all in the same style with the rest of your emails because i think adding in text which i will show you in a sec isn't like the greatest in ChatGPT yet so that's why i like to do that in figma so that's why i have to request to make the top 40 percent clear from from images uh, but this is already like a good starting point for the designer to make the hero image and now i said products should be bigger but still only in the lower 60 percent part the kits should only be visible in the lower 60 percent as well keep the top 40 percent free for the headline and call to action button and then it came up with this again it didn't do it perfectly because the kits are still in the top 40 percent but i do like this image so i definitely think that this is an image that we can use what you'll also notice that it now change the packaging which of course is not what we want so that's one of the downsides so then of course you can have like a prompt uh, and then show the original packaging that we had and say hey replace the packaging with the original packaging that's a prompt that you could do uh, so again that's one of the downsides that sometimes happens with the image generator and just to show you that it is possible to add like a headline and call to action button i ask ChatGPT to add in this headline to the hero image you made above so Welcome to Brain Bodies. Take 10% off your first order. Use code, call to action button, shop now. And then there we go. It just created this. So already like good starting point, but I think our designers in Figma would make this a bit better in all fairness. But if you have limited resources, if you don't have a designer, you have to do your email marketing all on your own. Uh, this could be like super helpful to at least get something going. So I think that's important to, to keep in mind. And then over here, I asked it to make the font size a bit more fun, which it did but then you'll notice that uh, it doesn't say welcome but welcome and so that's a bit of a weird mistake that uh, that it 
made. And then finally, to show you, give me a lifestyle image to show happy family vibes with parents and two kids uh, and, and brain body's product to show you that's also possible. There you go. So it's also a very good image that you can use. So that's the brain bodies uh, example that I wanted to show you. But of course, there are way more use cases. So let's say you are a fashion brand and you only have images of your clothing but you don't have the budget or time to hire a model that's going to wear the clothing so you can take product, product images of it no problem thanks to ChatGPT's image generator so what i did i took two images of the dutch national team football team and a pants uh, because I'm from Holland, from Netherlands, so why not? So I said, create an image, show a sportive male model age 20 with this shirt and pants. That's the only prompt. I didn't give any information about what the what the shirt is, what the pants are. Um, and interesting to know, for this use case, I used the O3 model, so ChatGPT O3. And the upside of that is that there's like a reasoning behind it that we can see. So what you can see in here, fast for 31 seconds. And if you click on it, you can see exactly exactly what ChatGPT is thinking about my request and how it should handle it. And that's super interesting to uh, to read. So in this case, the user has provided images of specific clothes, wanting them paired on a 20 year old athletic male model. This is an image generating request. And since they didn't specify themselves, I can proceed to create the requested image with a model. I need to use the image generation tool to bring it to life, reflecting their description, etc., etc. The user provided two images, one of a Dutch national soccer jersey and the other of navy nike pants so without me telling them they already know the first one is a jersey of the dutch national soccer team and the second thing is a navy nike pants i think that's insane so a uh, very interesting to to read those fonts and then if you take a look at the end result i think this looks super super realistic it, it wears the jersey it wears the pants and it is an athletic model of age 20 i assume so uh, i think a super cool end result again without ne needing a studio a photographer a model and stuff like that now is that create a user generated content image of this model making a selfie with the clothes uh, clothing on cheering for the dutch national team because why not i'm from holland why not so if you scroll down again we can read the thoughts about it and then you can see the, the the image created which i think is a good image but my goal was obviously that it would be a selfie so it would be out of perspective of the iphone basically so that's what i said it should be from the iphone as perspective thoughts for 12 seconds so then you see i need to understand what the user means by the image should be from the iphone perspective looking back at the previous request they asked for an image of someone holding a phone and taking a selfie now it seems like they want the image to show what the phone itself sees almost like the view from the selfie camera not just an external shot of the person taking the selfie and that's exactly what i mean just with like a couple of words so really really interesting and indeed it now made the right image and uh, it's just nice to see like the uh, little things that are going on like the dutch flags over here i think uh, that's like insane that it could do that and also had it over here so that's like a nice detail now i said create a lifestyle image of the same model with the same clothing walking to the stadium with a beer in his hand and also that is possible as you can see so the same shirt the same pants holding a beer in his hand in the background you can see other uh, people with orange shirts because they have the dutch national soccer team uh, and even like an orange thing over here so extremely realistic image if you ask me so and you might wonder okay why are you showing this i'm not selling soccer jerseys or stuff like that i just want to show you what the possibilities are if you're for example a fashion brand or you're selling jewelry and you don't have the budget or time to hire models um you can just simply upload the images of just the jewelry or just the shirt or whatever and you can basically create endless images the way you want it from professional images from user generated content just everything that you want while holding everything in their hands in every setting and that's what i wanted to show you with with this example next example for a brand called Forte series they're selling like hair care and hair styling products for men and we have this image of the volumizing mousse but we don't have like an image with a model and this is more like an upscale brand they want to be like classy and stuff like that it's from the owner called Alex Costa people might know them from YouTube and I said create an image of a male holding this mousse in his hand while with his other hand going through his hair while looking inside the camera make it super classy again you can read the thoughts about this 
like to see if JGPT understands what you want. And then it created this image. Again, a really good image if you ask me because it's holding the product in his hands. It looks super classy, one hand through his hair. So um, yeah, already like a super good uh, result. Again, I'm using a super basic prompt. You can really specify this to get the model that you want in the setting that you want. You can even specify how the model should have the product in his hand. So you can go as in depth as you want. Um, I just want to show you like the high level stuff in here. Now I say generate an image of a male person having the mousse in his hand as well, but now in the bathroom while doing his hair. It should be a user generated content image, so it shouldn't look too professional and like it's made with his iPhone. So more of a user generated content and the result is like insane. This definitely looks like a customer who is making a image of the product that they just ordered and to show like, okay, I have the product. So this could be an excellent photo for like a review or something like that. So if you want to create user generated content, of course, ideal scenario will be real user generated content. But just to show you the possibilities, it's also possible in this way. So another example that I think it's applicable for like every brand, whatever niche you are in, this is like super useful. Then one last example, again, Forte series, they also have perfume. Again, it's a bit of a classy brand and I want to see if ChatGPT can make a hero image again for one of our emails because we're talking about email marketing in here. So I say create an image, make a hero image, for one of our emails. The image should be in two to three ratio. Uh, the product that I attach should only be visible in the bottom 60% of the hero image, not above. The top 40% should stay clear so I can add a headline and call to action button overlay later. The background should be dark and classy since we're promoting a perfume for a man um, and then again some information about the fragrance so ChatGPT understands like the branding of the product of the brand itself and understands what kind of the vibe is that we want with this email this was the end result and this is not what you want because of course i asked for a dark and classy background but of course this is way too dark so i said it's a bit too boring and too dark so the perfume isn't popping out make sure to make the background fit the brand and then a link to the product page of the brand and then it came up with this which i think is already a lot better i think this is like a cool vibe and this is already like a good base that you can load inside figma and then based on that you can add in like headlines call to action buttons stuff like that so already a really good starting point if you ask me and just to show you that you could also add in text and call to action buttons with this image generator i asked them to add a headline and then call to action button and it did so it's definitely possible but i think still a good designer in figma can get to better results but still it's already like pretty good so this is another use case that you could also use it for email marketing like the examples before are more general focus for it for e-commerce but of course all the product images that i've created all the user generated content things that i created you can use it inside your email marketing because usually the biggest bottleneck for e-commerce brands is that they don't have enough assets to create email designs with and now with this image generator you can fix that so that's exactly how you can leverage ChatGPT's image generator to create stunning content for your email marketing as you've seen this tool isn't just about saving money on photo shoots or on a designer it's about creating highly relevant customized images that speak directly to your customers needs but here's something to keep in mind even the most incredible images won't help if your overall email marketing strategy is lacking so if you're looking to build or improve your email marketing system i've got the perfect video for you click right here where i break down how i would start to play your email marketing in 2025 based on my past experience in the last six years but working with over 65 e-commerce brands in that video i'll walk through the exact foundational setup that every e-commerce store needs regardless of your size also don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more weekly content on email marketing i hope to see you in the next one